The Swiss clearly love to ride their bikes, but only 46% of all cyclists wear helmets. The figure is high by European standards, but some safety experts would like all cyclists to wear them. Swiss television wanted to find out why some bike users prefer to go without. I'm more comfy without it. I don't want to drag it around. I don't want to have to keep taking it off when I'm out or at the uni. One very keen cyclist who swears by his helmet is Florin Vogel. He's a professional mountain biker. A couple of times I was really glad that I had my helmet on. Once I broke a handlebar and fell forwards onto my face. The helmet broke in half. I wasn't injured, but without a helmet it would have been serious. Florin Vogel rides down the bumpy forest path at breakneck speeds. Even if you're riding slowly, you can still crash. And if you bump your head, this can prove fatal. If an unprotected head crashes against an obstacle, even at a low speed, the bone can break. Here we see a fractured skull. A bruise develops beneath the crack, a hematoma which presses on the brain. So cyclists can suffer serious head injuries even at low speeds, which could be avoided with a helmet. Bike helmet safety tests are carried out for Swiss TV at the Federal Laboratories for Materials Science and Technology. Rolf Sempley examines 12 different helmets to see whether they can withstand a simulated crash at 17 km per hour. All the helmets conform to European standards. Another test to see whether the helmets remain in place during a collision. The wire cable pulls them forward. Not all of them stay put, so there's room for improvement here. Tests like this put pressure on the industry to continue to work on safety standards.